They are members of the world's most exclusive gastronomic club. Le Club des Chefs des Chefs is made up of the current personal chefs to heads of state from around the world. And every year, they meet up in a different country for their annual gathering. This year, Canada is playing host, and today we have three of them in studio. So joining me are Katie Brown Ardington, chef to the Prime Minister of Canada, Ulrich Kurtz, chef to the Chancellor of Germany, and Graham Howarth, chef to the Prime Minister of Great Britain. Thank you to the three of you for being here today. Thank you for hosting us. Thanks for having us. us. Thank you, Ben. I, ha I, have to, I have to say, so this is an organization that's been around for 40 years. My father was Prime Minister of Canada. I'd never heard of this. So I have to ask the three of you, what is the Club des Chefs des Chefs? I mean, it's clearly uh, secret. Well, we have uh, our uh, oldest member. Yeah. <laughs> Katie yeah. and I are new to the club this oh, year. Oh, well, well, congratulations to both of you. Thank you. And Ulrich, why don't you tell us what it is? Uh, the, chef, the Club Chef des Chefs is a representation for... Uh, uh, Gilles Bogart is the founder. He founded for 40 years. And uh, we representation all the lands uh, in, in the world, the head of, from the head of states, kings, chancellor, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and we take uh, change always uh, the town every year. Last year we was in India, and today uh, we are staying here in Canada. And uh, yeah, it's uh, illusion for me <laughs> for looking what's going on in Canada. Well, that, so, so Chef K, this means that <clears throat> you're in, in essence hosting this really? year's event. Yeah, I was new, well, new to the position. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jill, the founder, when he came down to uh, Canada to meet with me, he's like, "Welcome to the club. It's very nice to have you." And guess what? You're hosting this year. <laughs> so it was very overwhelming. And so, do you know what your responsibilities are? Uh, Besides making sure they have a good time, mm -hmm. just making sure they get to experience uh, Canada. And obviously through cuisine, but through each other. And we get to talk about our countries and how a table can really bring people together. <laughs> Besides it, politics. Besides <laughs> politics. So, so, uh, so you, I have to think, are new to the, uh, to the, the world of... Uh, th th you're fairly new to, to, to working sort of in this environment, aren't yes, you? Yes, absolutely. I'm used to more uh, uh, restaurants, yes. uh, more fine dining. So just starting in February, I started working for the family. And so, Chef Graham, what, what's your experience in politics thus far? Um, <clears throat> I've worked for the British Prime Minister for the past... I'm in my 15th year now. Oh, so, really? Yeah, I've seen a few through the door. You have? Um, and I work at Chequers Estate, which is the... The country retreat, um, so nothing to do with Downing Street. Okay. Um, so we are 40 minutes outside of London. Um, so it's a little more relaxed, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's a place of rest and recuperation, mm. um, where the Prime Minister can come, get away from the rat race that is London, mm. and just come and enjoy a bit of downtime. But we do um, lots of political events as well. Uh, we'll have cabinet meetings, or when different world leaders come over, they'll tend to come to check us for, for dinner overnight um yeah that's great uh, uh, chef Ulrich, I, I have to wonder you know you get to know these leaders in angela merkel specifically uh in in a way that others don't through through the stomach through their yeah. taste buds yeah. um so i have to assume that that you know your world leader in a different way than the world does no we have we have uh, we have in a, i work 16 years now in the chancery and um we have um, so many representations for, for food, and we representation German food in the chancellery. It's uh, most important for representation, the German food for Mrs. Merkel, for the other guests. Uh, what, is, um, what is the history for the food, vegetable food, like this? Yeah. We have, um, and, and for me, is it very interesting for looking with the chefs. What is going in Canada? Sure. What is going in China? What is going in India? Are there any it's, trends uh, that, that sort of transcend nations that you've noticed? The, 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 yeah, the, 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 the most important thing is what you have to, to produce in the, in, the regional, in the regional areas. Mm -hmm. uh, what is in the, in the season? You have winter seasons, you have summer seasons. You have so many different fresh uh, vegetable uh, like this and uh, biologic farms. Well, That's the future. In, in, in a lot of ways, the three of you and your colleagues uh, in this group are, are very real ambassadors for your nations, aren't you? Because you've got people who are, you've got diplomats, you've got very important people coming to the chancellery, come through 24 Sussex or through, uh, through the, uh, the country estate, uh, and they are experiencing the country through, the, through the, uh, the, the, the food that you're putting in front of them. That's a big responsibility. Absolutely. That is when you put it like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I mean, we go to work, don't we, on a daily yeah. basis, like yourself and... I suppose in some respects you don't really look at it through, through those eyes. We're just going to work and we do what we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you also have the added responsibility of, of, of cooking for kids, too. 
that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so that was overwhelming, just coming from more of a fine dining experience and then having to make nutritious food for kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a young son now, so it's kind of putting in more perspective what I should be concerned about for lunch boxes and um, just the future of them. So it's definitely, you know, it's a different experience. <laughs> a lot of people at home uh, are, are, are enjoying the fact that we're pulling back the veil a little bit, learning a, bit, a little bit about how these leaders eat. Mm -hmm. um, are, what's your daily schedule like? Is the kitchen open 24-7? Not necessarily. <laughs> no. no. Um, yeah. From my point of view, we are, like I say, a weekend retreat. Mm. Mm. Um, so my work focuses mainly over a full weekend. So from uh, a Friday, we'll accept the Prime Minister in, and she'll stay with us until Sunday. Um, so yeah, we just, if anything happens with her, I live on the estate as well. So if anything does happen, uh, we're there to jump at a moment's notice if need be. But we are quite well routined. You need routine. Yeah, I, I've, I've been in professional kitchens before, and I've, I'm always impressed with, <clears> with uh, how it's run almost like the military and how you guys can keep it clean all while you're cooking. <laughs> I never understood that. But I want to thank the three of you for coming in today. Congratulations. I hope you learn from each other on this trip. Absolutely. And I wish you the very, very best. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for having us. Pleasure.